Honourable Member for Deakin. Thanks very much, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. This week marked the occasion when Bill Shorten finally confirmed that he's turned his back on the people of Melbourne's eastern suburbs by supporting the reckless tearing up of the contracts to build the East-West Link. This week, when asked if he was still in favour of building the East-West Link, Bill Shorten squirmed and waffled as usual, but was finally pinned down by the journalist for an answer when he replied, no, not in the current circumstances. This is outrageous, considering that on two previous occasions, Bill Shorten has put forward submissions strongly supporting the East-West Link. His new position of tearing up the East-West Link contracts also contradicts his earlier support for the shadow treasurer's comments when he said, Labor in government honours contracts entered into by previous governments. For issues of sovereign risk, Labor honours contracts. The East West Link is a shovel ready and fully funded project which will deliver 7,000 jobs to Victoria and save communities in my electorate of Deakin up to three hours per week in travel time. For these reasons alone, Bill Shorten should put Victoria first by getting on the phone to his mate Dan Andrews and telling him to get this crucial project going. If Bill Shorten and Labor continue down this dangerous path, they'll be threatening Victoria's reputation and the people of Melbourne's eastern suburbs will never forgive Labor.